Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're going to be talking about a watch uh, trio that was released this year by Jung Hans. It's the Max Bill Edition Set 60. This is a trio of watches that are really a way for Jung Hans to celebrate and commemorate the uh, legacy that they have with Max, the creation that Max Bill had for, for, for Jung Hans. It's a set of three watches, like I said, so I'm going to give you some details about the, wa the three watches. Um, talk through my opinions on it and put up as many pictures and videos as I can of this watch I'll say at the beginning of this video. I do not have this watch in my possession. This is really just a way for me to um, Educate you on on the watches that were released give you my opinions on it and talk through um, Some of the things I think about when I, when this watch comes to mind So if you are looking for an in-depth video on this trio, which is a limited edition um, This isn't the video for you, but I hope you stick around and um, enjoy sort of my thoughts on on this trio so, um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, this is, there's a, Jung Hans released a trio of watches to celebrate um, 60 years of the Max Bill uh, uh, sort of uh, line of watches that were created. Max Bill <coughs> was um, a prolific designer and created some really impressive Bauhaus inspired watches and, and Jung Hans was able to um, obviously have um, some of those in their sort of lineup of watches. This is the 60th anniversary of the Max Bill watch that were released or first created by Jung Hans in 1961. And so what they did, what Jung Hans has done is they've um, created a trio of watches that are sold in a set um, and there's a limited quantity of all of these watches. The three watches that you that are part of this set is a, um, a fairly standard um, a max bill with three hands, hours, minutes, seconds, and a date at three o'clock. This has an automatic movement in it. <clears throat> the second is a regulator. And so for this piece, you actually have um, the hour, hour <clears throat> excuse me, the hours hand and the minutes hand operating separately. And then the third piece you have is a uh, quartz powered watch with a sub seconds dial to it. Um, to describe the, the trio a little bit more, they all look very, very alike. The hands have these orange orange accents. There's an orange accent for the um, for the 12 for the 12th hour uh, marker, um, but it's it's very very typical Jung Hans Max Bill sort of design. White dial, beautiful um, be beautifully simple dials, um, and then these come on on a, a strap. A, they all come on a very similar strap. I believe it's a um, it's a gray leather strap. So it sort of has sort of more like a, 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 a um, sort of like a tan sort of feel to it, a tan sort of uh, hue to it. To go through each of them a little bit more in, in depth, so the um, the automatic piece uh, that, that you're going to get is um, fairly standard design. You have your three hands, hours, minutes, and seconds hand in your data at three o'clock. It's running off of a uh, ETA 2824 movement. This is used in many, many um, other watches that you probably have, have heard, seen and heard of before. Fairly common, um, pr probably a fairly common uh, movement, but obviously it is in commemoration of um, of the 60th anniversary of sort of this line of watches. Then you have a regulator that also is running off of a 2824 20, movement. And for this watch, you actually have an hour sub dial at 12 o'clock and then your center hand is basically the minutes, and then you also have a sub-seconds dial at, at three o'clock. There's no date on this piece. What really stands out about this piece is obviously regulators are, are, um, are fairly uncommon. You probably won't find them in, by every brand. Um, the orange accents that there are for both the hours hand um, and the minutes hand I think stands out pretty nicely, and it's an uncommon watch that you would have on your wrist. Um, and then the last one is basically um, the uh, the uh, high tech quartz piece that they've uh, decided to come out with. This is um, what Jung Hans refers to as an in house movement for them, a quartz movement for them. It's the J101.66, and this watch um, is basically a uh, a hours. It has hours and minutes hands, and then it has a sub second style, which is I don't want to say uncommon, but might not be the first thing you think of when you think about a quartz watch. What's interesting about this is it has um, uh, radio calibration, so you actually don't have to uh, set the time. It'll, it'll set itself automatically. Um, and, and so it's a little bit more of a high-tech quartz piece um, 
for, for, for that. Again, similar design elements in this piece as well. Um, if you basically took out the, 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 the hours uh, sub dial at 12 o'clock of the regulator, and you put the hours hand back in the center, you're basically looking at the same piece. It does have a date at three o'clock as well. Um, the overall aesthetics of these pieces are fairly similar across the board um, and a pretty cool trio at, at that. What is pretty cool about this is it comes in a fairly unique sort of 60th anniversary box. Like I said, you can't buy these pieces individually, although I am almost willing to bet that on the second hand market there are going to be, be people who maybe rip the rip the, the trio apart, but it comes in a pretty cool sort of box that has commemoration and it had obviously called the edition 60 with young hands and the signature of Max Bill below it. I think it's a fairly cool little trio that you can you can pick up. The trio itself is not um, an inexpensive trio. Uh, the trio is going to cost uh, 4,900 US dollars and young hands has, has limited the production of these this uh, set to uh, 1060. Um, so if you think about 1060 multiplied by three, that's about how many watches you're gonna get out of this. But as I said, this set is gonna be sold um, together. Um, I guess we can kind of move on to sort of my thoughts about these pieces. Obviously there are people who really love Young Hands and Young Hands is a brand that they um, connect with and really love the Bauhaus design of that Max Bill created for the watches that he um, produced for Young Hands. Um, I think if you are a Young Hans collector, you really enjoy the types of watches that they uh, produce. I think this is a really great opportunity for you to really get a, a range of the different types of watches you can get in this sort of Bauhaus um, Max Bill style. <clears throat> um, being able to have all three, I think, allows you to rotate between uh, different types of watches that maintain similar stylistic elements, but do have a di different flair for each of them. So one day you could be wearing a really high-tech quartz piece, the other day you could, be being a wear, you could be wearing a regulator, as opposed to someone else who may not have the option to switch between those two. I'd say um, even if you are not a Young Hands collector, I think this is a pretty unique opportunity to get something that's limited edition and paying tribute to an individual who had a big impact on a brand like Young Hans, which has become sort of like a cult favorite for a lot of people who are interested in watches from this brand or Bauhaus inspired pieces. Um, I think one of the things I really love about this, just from an enthusiast perspective, is the fact that it's paying tribute to someone who had a very big impact in watches. A lot of the times we sort of get lost in the in in all of the the complicate the complications and and the amazing things that people have been able to do. I speak heavily about some of the watchmakers who contribute to brands like Life on the uh, not Life on the Wrist, like MBNF. On I I speak about MBNF highly because they they really bring to light a lot of the watchmakers who are doing extremely important things um, to develop watchmaking um, going into the future. But there are people who, like Max Bill who, who did that in the 1960s and um, we wouldn't be here without him. This whole line of watches would not be here. And I'm willing to bet that maybe this this sort of Bauhaus designed piece, uh, Bauhaus designed watches wouldn't be at a place in the collector's minds where it is today. So it is nice to look back and pay tribute to the people who have um, helped us out there. I think it's totally cool that they did a limited edition uh, for these three watches um, and I'm glad that they're selling them as a set similar to how Omega created that um, that, uh, that set of the Railmaster, Seamaster and Speedmaster. <clears throat> I think that's a really great way of sort of commemorating uh, your history um, and I think this is a wonderful example of that. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the set 60 um, from Young Hands, which is to commemorate the um, incredible work that Max Bill did for the brand. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trio. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to read more about this trio, you can head over to our website. We have an article in the editorial section of our website where you can uh, read more about this, uh, this trio. Um, so head over to our website if you want to do that. Also, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel if you like these types of videos, um, we'd love to have you part of the Life Owners family. And if you wouldn't mind, lastly, hitting that like button for us. It really does help us out with our YouTube analytics. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time.